Okay. Um, so it's I had a quick brainwave this morning. Um, I'm still using my webcam because I'm lazy like that. Um, it's just like I'm ready to go to work and I had this idea. Okay. Um, hopefully it didn't escape me while turning on the computer and such. Um, what I was reflecting on was external stimulation. Basically, I was thinking about um, how some people are like really like to travel and you know like I wish I could travel but that's kind of expensive but with all this moving around that I'm doing like from house to house I've come to the realization that the excitement is so quick it's like oh I'm in a new room um, or I'm in a new house or I'm in a new environment and um, it's like a really great kind of stimulation it's like um, what would you call it uh, like a special feeling that as something new something more that your brain is challenged with new situation you put yourself in um, external stimulation you're thinking new things you're in a new area there's more to look at there's more to do you have to get used to new routines that's like a new job is really fun for me change is brilliant for me not a lot of people like change not a lot of people like that but then there are some people that do and um, so then what I was thinking about was how society is sort of addicted to external influence we're addicted to watching TV for someone else to think for us or someone else to give us our creative ideas or or you know with people who are I'm not, I guess I came to the conclusion addicted to travel because that's addicted to the change addicted to putting yourself in such a completely new environment that you're for like I think travel would be the most extreme because the feeling would last for a long time like if you move to a totally different country there are so many influences like things that um day to day you, for years that you would be um new to like things that you're learning and your brain is developing new thought patterns and everything um I thought that was pretty neat um, how society is kind of based around that thought of we use things like uh, the guitar or we use things like books to externally, externally stimulate our minds but then I was thinking of um, the whole little theory on um, global consciousness and how um, like it was always before that we were we were little chatterboxes, we were little social um, um, bugs as beings on this planet, but so is everything else. But it's funny how we communicate through um, our little jibber jabber and we externally stimulate each other that way. And then I was thinking about YouTube and how how is this externally stimulating for me? Well, I get comments back and stuff like that. I'm not looking for that, <laughs> but um, it, it, that is externally stimulating. But it's funny how the initial this me talking to you is well, that's externally stimulating your brain thought, but how it's kind of benefiting me most because I'm internally stimulating myself, and I think that's. Um, that's the coolest thing and I think that's um, uh, maybe what they mean by not global consciousness nah I think I'm, I'm on a little bit I don't know how I'm rewording but I think that's kind of neat a neat thought that um, people are more consciously thinking for themselves I mean people are making decisions for themselves, people are deciding not to get married because they want to be single. That's a really internal choice that they have come up with, I mean externally stimulated by all the things that they're viewing and, but I don't know, it's kind of neat actually, kind of like the nature-nurture debate, what affects you more, external or internal influence? because we all make our own decisions of the view that we have, the angle 
the truth we seek. <laughs> New day. And <clears throat> another update. That medicine that I was showing you last video. Oh my god. It should put on there for curing coughs, colds, because yes, it, I still have it, but it definitely helped immensely. But oh my god, they should also put, if you want wacky dreams, take this pill. Nah. Like, bizarre. Like, I am a very bizarre thinker, so I have bizarre dreams, but most of them don't fizz me. But when I wake up going, ah, and think about the dream all day, over and over, like I can't even remember most of it, but the extreme feeling, the extreme blah of my dreams on that stuff is messed up. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just, because I can't, I think I was having dreams last week a little bit, so maybe it was actually just me and not that. But I don't know, I think it was that because these were extremely weird dreams and they were kind of sexual. Not just kind of. I never really have sexual dreams. These are like crazy dreams, man. Whoa, like last night, there was these bunnies that were doing it. I don't know why. I was thinking that it was crazy. <laughs> anyway, that's all, folks. Have a good day. <laughs>